Christian Darasaw is one of the best players coming into the 2021 NFL Draft. Now you may be confused because I just posted a Darasaw video a couple of weeks ago, but that's not my best work and I only put out my best work. I was being lazy and reached on a couple of clips because I wanted to get the video out as soon as possible due to it being late at night. Learning lesson for me. But back to Darasaw and subscribe if you haven't already. So right here, he's going to be working against Patrick Jones. And Patrick Jones is a really great prospect. And he's going to hit a pretty good bull rush right here. But watch how he stops it dead in its tracks. Right here, he's going to get pushed back a little bit, but watch the recovery, right? He is going to generate that power from his hips and hold him up, preventing Patrick Jones from having any impact and getting to the quarterback. And this is great because on the next level, there are a lot of power rushers. Let's just say Adrian Claiborne. You saw how Alejandro Villanueva was not able to handle that power rush, that bull rush that he had. So it's nice to see that Christian Darasaw has that balance technique and also just pure strength to handle those rushes because this is a really good prospect as well. I also like the fact that he denied him the angle right here. He seems to be using a little cross face wrestling move. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I don't have all 22, but it's good effort. So pretty nice play and recovery there from Christian Darasaw. And right here, he's going to really show his athleticism. It's going to be a screen pass to his side and watch him lay those blocks on that linebacker or safety. Really great effort. You love to see the athleticism. And if I was a linebacker, the last person I would want to see is him running full speed at me. Coaches are going to love this because now you have a big fellow that can go down on plays like screens and things of that nature and block for your running backs or wide receivers. If your team drafts Christian Darasaw, expect him to make a lot of plays like this. Right here, Alvin Kamara is going to get the ball out of the flat and watch his O-lineman go out and block for him. You love to see this from any O-lineman, tackle, guard, or center. It does not matter. And Christian Darasaw can do things like that because he is very athletic and he can go out and make those plays. If you're a fan of the sexier picks like Kyle Pitts, that's fine. But if you're getting or have got by the time you're watching this video, Christian Darasaw, he is going to be super valuable for the next 10 years to your team because he is everything you want from a left tackle. He can get downfield. He's great in run block. He's pretty great in pass block as well. He's everything you want from a franchise left tackle, and I wouldn't be surprised if he went at number five to the Bengals if Panay Sewell is taken off the board. Now let's talk about his run game because this is also one of his specialties. Watch his athleticism to get down the field here and take that linebacker out of play. I talked about his athleticism and can't rave enough about it. With the linebackers in today's league getting faster and stronger, as you see with Devin White, it's key to have a tackle or a guard that can block them off on run plays, and he can do exactly that, opening up that huge hole for Herbert. Here's what I love to see. In the first couple seconds of this play, he is going to push this defender to the side he wants him to, and then he is going to block him off with his leverage, not letting him get back to the side that that defender is trying to go to. Watch him use his leverage right there and completely blocks off that defender from getting in the picture. Again, nice play, completely opened up that space for Herbert to go through, and he would do this a lot. You know, he has good awareness of how to use his leverages. Right here, we have another play where he is getting downfield and blocking that linebacker. One thing you love to see from tackles on the next level is them being able to get out and get to that second level, something that Christian Darasaw specializes in. So good block right there. On this next clip, he's going to completely eliminate a side of the field, even though that side isn't where the run is designed to. And watch right here how he just, again, leverages his position and takes that defender out of the play. If he simply just, you know, blocked that defender straight up and didn't really try as much, that defender now can be in that spot to tackle number six, the running back. But he does a great job and takes that defender out of the play, no matter if the play is going his way or not. The funny thing I find about Christian Darsaw is that it looks like he's not trying. You know, it's just so effortless for him. Right here, he's going to basically pick Chasserat up 
off the ground for like a half a second there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it looks so easy for him. And I see other tackles. You can tell that they're really, you know, going hard at it, you know, going and trying to give 200% effort and still sometimes fail. But with Christian Darsaw, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna go lift this dude up. You know, I'm gonna go stand this guy up. And it's like, it's nothing for him. And yes, sometimes he would not try as much as I would like him to while he would still do his job. It just seemed like it was a lackadaisical effort. That is okay, though, because that is instantly going to change when he gets into the NFL. You know why? Because he's naturally more urgent if you're playing against higher competition and he won't be taking it as casually as he takes playing against some college kids. So I don't think that part of his game really is a concern at all for me. On this run play though, he is going to make another pretty nice play. He's going to hold up this defensive lineman so his running back, or in this case, I think that's his quarterback, can hit the hole. And as we see right there, another pretty good play in the run game. This is a defensive lineman as well, so it's nice to see that he has that uh, power versus not only edge rushers, but defensive linemen right there. He's completely holding him up. On this final play, he's going to make another dominant play on the edge rusher and watch him get his hands on him and then just drive his feet, driving him backwards and taking him out of the picture. Another great play where he just eliminates the defender. Let me know what you guys think about Darasa though. I know a lot of people have him ranked as the number two or number three tackle. So drop your tackle rankings in the comment section below. I am going to be trying to respond to as many comments as I can. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.